This is the demo and instruction video showing that how you could upload the data from ADWS310 wireless IoT NG meter to AWS IoT platform. After logging in your AWS IoT account, find security, policy interface, create policy. Set policy name. Then set policy effect as a law. Policy action as star mark. Policy resource as star mark. After setting, click create for the new policy. Find all devices. Things interface. Click Create Things button. Select Create Single Thing. Click Next to continue. Set Thing Name. and select no shadow click next to continue select auto generate a new certificate click next button to continue and select the policy that you want to attach to the certificate Click Create Scenes to continue. Here, you need to download the necessary certificate and keys. The device certificate, the public key file, the private key file. Amazon Trust Service Endpoint Also, you need to name all the download file with .bin suffix for later usage After downloading all these certificate scenes and uh, find the setting interface, the MQTT test client interface, click connection detail, and remember this endpoint down. You will be later use it as a domain access port. About how you can connect a ADWS310 LTNG meter to a laptop via USB to S425 converter like this. First, for communication part, you connect pin 21 A1 on ADWS310 to S45 plus or TX plus on USB to S45 converter and then to the USB port of computer. It's the same for the uh, pin 22, B1 on ADWS310, connect it to S45 minus or TX minus of USB to S45 converter and then to the USB port of laptop. For the power supply of ADWS310, 
We use pin U1 and pin UN connect to a power source with voltage range of 85 to 265 voltage AC. After all the basic connection was done, we can formally start the configuration of ADW310. After powering up the ADW310 and connect it to laptop via USB to S425 converter like this, we can open your laptop and before we open in the ADW310 adjustment software, make sure two things was confirmed on your laptop. First, you need to ensure that you have installed the serial port driver for your USB port. Second, check in device manager on your laptop to see which server port was currently used by this ADW310. After confirming these two parts, we could open the ADW310 adjustment software for further configuration. Change the language into English. Click setting, power set. Here, port is same port that currently used by ADW310. Port rate is default as 9600. Data bit is default as 8. Store bit is default as 1. Parity check is default as N. Confirm and broadcast read. After successfully opening the port, we could formally start the commissioning. Find environment man, interface and IP or domain section. Click read button first for checking your current setting. Select the main and click set button for saving your setting. Click read button again for checking whether your setting was successfully saved. Then find domain one section. Click read button first for checking your current setting. Then paste your endpoint on AWS to the main one section. Click set button for saving your setting. Click read button again. For checking whether your setting was successfully saved. Second, find MQTT interface. Click read button first for checking your current setting. Set MQTT Tema 2. This part could be defined by you. Here, I set it as ADW underscore path. Click set button for saving your setting. Click read button again for checking whether your setting was successfully saved. Third, find SSL over TLS interface.
here, we have three certificates and keys file that need to be imported. And remember, before you import all the certificates, you need to name them with BIN suffix. Then, we import certificate 1 with Amazon Trust with endpoint. Wait for execution. Next, we import certificate 2 with device certificate BIN file. At last, we import certificate 3 with private key BIN file. Wait for execution. For now, all the basic configuration of ADW310 for connecting to your AWS IoT platform has been done. Return back to AWS IoT platform, find text. MQTT test client interface and subscribe to a topic section. Input topic name, the same as MQTT Tema 2 that you have already set on AWS 310. Normally, the default data upload interval will be set to 1 minute. So, there will be data came from AWS 310 to your AWS LT platform after about one minute later. For now, you can see the data came from AWS 310 to your AWS LT platform. Demo complete.